The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After a good try, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam built a big army with 30,000 Muslim soldiers. The Prophet started his journey in the middle of the 9th Hijri in the month of Rajab. After a one-hour journey, the Muslims reached in the place of the Awan, where the Munafiq or the false Muslims built their mosque. At that place, the false Muslims requested the Prophet to pray in their mosque to get blessings. The Prophet did not pray in that mosque. At first, the false Muslims joined the Muslim army, but later they secretly returned to Medina. Only few of those false Muslims stayed with the Muslim army as a spy. In that journey, the Prophet did not take Ali Radintala with him. The Prophet left Ali Radintala in Medina to protect his family. But the false Muslims started to say that the Prophet didn't care about Ali Radintala. And that's why he left behind Ali Radintala in Medina. At one point, Ali Radintala became very upset and lost his patience. He quickly left Medina to join the Prophet. The Prophet understood his feeling. To make Ali Radantala happy, the Prophet said that he was a big help to the Prophet. Like the Prophet Harun salam helped Prophet Musa salam. But the only difference is that there would be no Prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ali Radantala became very happy and returned to Medina to protect the Prophet's family members. With a very big Muslim army, there were very few camels. Every 18 soldiers had only one camel to ride. The big Muslim army also had very little food, so most of the time, they had to eat leaves of the trees. And that made their lips hurt so much. Sometimes they had to destroy some of the camels to get drinking water from their body. On their journey, they had to stop at the place of al Hijr or al Qura Valley the land of the Thamud. That's where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet Saleh alayhi salam to guide his people. But those bad people destroyed the Prophet Saleh alayhi salam's miracle, the very big she-camel and her child. So, for their bad action, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed those people and their town by a very strong sound. All of the soldiers were very thirsty and hungry. They started to collect water from the wells in that area and prepared the dough for their bread. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered his people not to drink any water from those wells and gave those dough to their animals. Then he showed them the well from Saleh salam's camel used to drink water and told them to drink water from there. The Prophet ordered his people to leave quickly from that evil place and cover their heads. The Muslims also recited some du'as during that time. One time the Muslims were suffering because they were thirsty 
and did not have any water. So the Prophet prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as a miracle, it started to rain. The Muslims were very happy and collected rainwater. Finally, the Prophet's army reached Tabuk after a very long journey. It was about 400 kilometers away from Medina. There was a very small water flow from a mountain. As a miracle, as soon as the Prophet touched that spring, the pure water started to come. The Prophet gave a warning for a sandstorm. He ordered his people to lie down and tie their animal tightly. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, all of the Muslims were saved. Only one of them was destroyed because he did not follow the Prophet's orders. When the Romans got the news about the Muslims' big army, they became very scared. They did not want to fight with a brave Muslim army. To challenge the Romans and show the Muslim power, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam stayed in Tabuk for 20 days. Within those three weeks, the Romans and the Arab Christians completely lost their strength mentally. All of the enemy's army were starting to hide for their safety. It was an extremely successful event of the Islamic history. The Muslims won against the strongest army in the world without any fight. The neighboring Arab tribes were checking the situation. They were very surprised to see the new superpower, Islam. That unbelievable success could not even be done in any battle. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessing, during that time, different Arab tribes from that area started to come to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam to make peace with the Muslims. They also agreed to pay taxes to the new Muslim kingdom, but took some time to accept Islam. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam agreed for their peace and safety for their business journey in both the land and sea. The Prophet sent Khalid bin Walid ta'ala to arrest one of the tribe leader, Uqaydir. When he came to the Prophet, he accepted the Muslim peace agreement and went back to his people. Before, those tribes were under the Roman kingdom. But when they saw that the Romans could not protect them anymore, they started to come to the Muslims to become their friend for their peace and protection. The Prophet's journey to Tabuk against the strong Romans were very successful. Before the Romans were a great threat to Arabia, but after the Muslims challenged and stayed in Tabuk, for 20 days, it took an unexpected turn, and this made the Muslims unbeatable. <laughs>